In this video, we will be going over the simulated account. For convenience, MotorWave has a built-in simulated account that you can use to practice your trading. If you chose a data service for your workspace, then this account will be enabled by default. If you're using a broker, it's recommended that you use a demo account if provided by your broker instead. The broker demo accounts will provide a better simulation of their trading environment and supported order types and behaviors. The simulated account can be configured via the Configure, Preferences. We click on the General tab, and then on the second row, we click on Simulated Account. The simulated account is a paper trading account that locally tracks orders, positions, and trades against a virtual account. When placing orders against this account, no actual information is transmitted to your broker. Now, the first field we have here is Enabled. This allows us to enable or disable the account. As mentioned before, if your broker does offer a demo account, it is recommended that you leave this unchecked and disabled as the broker's demo account will better reflect the trader environment. In this case, I'm going to enable it. You can click a base currency. In this case, I'm going to leave it as US. And then, of course, you can pick your initial cash balance. I will leave this at the initial 100,000, but you can change this to whatever you want. So if you want to go 50,000, you can do that. I'm gonna put it back to 100,000. So fill immediate, if this is checked, then the market orders will be filled immediately at the current bid ask value, instead of waiting for the next trade. Include commission, if checked, commissions will be included when placing trades. So if your broker charges commissions, then you can select include commissions. And the reset account, you can click this button to reset the account back to the initial cash balance. So let's click apply uh, and OK. And now you'll notice from the trade panel, there's also simulated available. So if I place a trade here, you'll notice here it says SIM. And if we go over to, if we bring over our positions, you'll notice here we have the simulated account and we have the trade listed. Now, if we have more than one account and we don't have simulated listed here, let's say I were to pick this demo account, you'll notice I do not see the trade. That is because it is not placed on this account. It has been placed on the simulated account. So if I switch back to simulated, you now see the trade. You can also set the simulated account as the default account. Here you'll notice in the default column in your accounts page, there's no default set. But if I right click on simulated and then select it as a default account, then any time I place a trade, my simulated account will be selected by default. Now this will help you in preventing having trades placed to a live account if you forget to select the simulated account. So if I were to pull up a different instrument here, you'll notice by default simulated is selected. Okay, so we can then go back and close the position. And now if we take a look at our trade history, you'll notice here that the simulated account trades are listed here. Okay, so that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next.